I did a reading with a client yesterday and they wanted me to look into some past life stuff and so I did. I found that they had a past life in Lumeria. This means that their body was not human. This was kind of like a fish body. They definitely have scales, they have a tail, um, fully conscious, fully developed brain, but the body itself is not human-like and you live and breathe underwater. For my Lumerians out there, you, if you know, you know. But the point of this is oftentimes people think like, oh, you know, I'm this star seed from this place and I miss that place. What they fail to realize is sometimes you can die a really intense death in that lifetime in that other planet. So you're like, oh, get me off of Earth. I don't want to reincarnate on Earth again. But like in that lifetime, I picked up that she was literally gutted like a fish and used as an experiment. So it's not like it was a peaceful, loving going. You can still miss and crave your home planet, but it's also important to remember that bad things or scary things happen on other planets as well. Earth isn't like the only place in the world where suffering exists. It exists everywhere, and so that's also a really good reason for you to tune into your present moment and really be still and be here and embody the human experience because everywhere you get reincarnated into is going to have some sort of pain or lessons. The only time you don't feel a sort of pain is when you're completely dead, not in any shell, not in a body, just a soul. So it's kind of inevitable. So if you long for a place that is not earth, you long for home, it's for good reason, but it's also important to really respect the journey you're on right now on planet earth.